All right, here I am at another workshop for the beauty pageant contestants and I'm talking to Aditi. Aditi, what was the workshop about and uh, how was it? The workshop was with Tashan Bedi on Embrace, that is uh, Embrace Success Every Day. It was a very uh, great uh, workshop because over here she was trying to let us understand and appreciate more about self and create a happier and successful and a confident you. We learned a lot about the wheel of the life, the balance of the life, how to prioritize your uh, things in life and how to balance about your focuses, about your goals and family and work ambitions that you are looking forward at. And at this moment, because the pageant now it's just few days left, this is a very helpful uh, session. Probably it is helping us to uh, be more confident and accept self. I think everybody knows that we are in a competition but there is a spirit, uh, there is uh, definitely a sportsmanship spirit I would say, a positive spirit that everybody wants to go ahead with. Plus uh, yes, there were some videos where everybody felt a bit of an emotional because it was about describing about yourself and how others describe you. This allowed us you know, to understand how mentally we have to be strong in the coming journey. Thank you so much. Sarah from the Miss category, how was the Embrace workshop for you today? I think it was actually very enlightening, very empowering and also um, enjoyable. Uh, I like the activities, especially the videos. They made us, as much as they made us tear, they made us laugh as well. And I think I, I got a little bit emotional, but it was worth it, definitely. I portray myself as, as being confident but these kinds of things they actually recharge the being a woman you need to be recharged as well you need to know that you know you are better than what you think you are so I, I think I learned that hi RT at some point during the workshop we saw you break down how redefining was this workshop for you really emotional for me uh, whole day is going to be emotional because first of all the workshop started with the few people who inspired you and somebody said uh, dads so m I lost my dad uh, one year back so it is very much emotional for me and the second thing which I really like about the workshop is uh, being a working professional I always uh, have one guilt in my mind that uh, am I uh, doing good for to my daughter or not but the one sentence change your whole thing about the workshop is that it's okay to be some guilt. So I really enjoyed this sentence and I'm gonna take this sentence in my home and for the rest of my life I guess this gonna be very helpful to me. Sneha, what happened to you today? Uh, nothing, I just got a little bit emotional because you know sometimes you have that guilt factor that you're not giving 100% to your family I mean not giving that much time Truth, maybe since I'm a working mom and coming for this workshops and all leaving your small baby but yeah definitely she said that little bit of guilt is fine just saying that I'm beautiful and just say it so I guess um, I developed a lot of confidence from this workshop, a lot of positivity uh, and Sean Bailey was really, really fantastic. So I'm definitely going to take this, something uh, always in my life. Okay, Anu, how was the workshop for you? At some point, all of you spoke your heart out and all of you revealed bits about yourself that you all haven't in the past couple of weeks. So how was the workshop for you? Uh, today's session was really fantastic. Uh, I fall under the um, exp Mrs. Expat category. I'm 40 years old, married to a Mexican and I'm really enjoying this journey and today's workshop was really fantastic where Sharon was too good. She really made us realize that self-love is, I think it has to be given the prime importance because unless we learn to love ourselves, I don't think we can give our 100% to others also. So it was really, really awesome. The best part, what I liked was well, at times we did get emotional because uh, there were girls sharing their own uh, feelings. I also got emotional. Um, but yes, unless and until one more thing what we learned is about guilt. So all these days I was thinking, oh my God, what if I feel guilty, I really feel depressed and something negative. But now what I've learned is I think having guilt is a kind of a positive act. So. If I feel guilty, I'll really, be, I'll really feel happy about it. Yeah, I'm going to take a deep breath. Yes. And that's what makes me feel more positive. And I think I'll have a happier attitude after that.
All right, so uh, here I am with Shan Bedi, who conducted this morning's workshop on embrace. Shan, what is the workshop today about? Well, it was about really passing on the principles of uh, embrace worldwide, and that is really to help women to become a lot happier, a lot more successful, and a lot more confident. So the girls have had lots of grooming, lots of styling tips, which is all about really making their outside beautiful. And today, although it was emotional, it was really about grooming them on the inside. Uh, and that will allow them to become a lot more happier, a lot more successful, and a lot more confident. Brilliant. In fact, uh, that's what I saw when I walked into the workshop, that a lot of girls broke down. They had these emotional moments on a lot of stuff that you were talking to them about or you were showing them videos of. The learning that we got today is really that unconditional love of others and really driving your success comes down to first and foremost accepting yourself and loving yourself. So I think what will really allow these women is to stand at that finale with a greater poise because they understand themselves better and they love themselves better. So I think that will be the most impactful thing that will see their inner beauty shine out above and beyond any makeup can happen. A lot of contestants couldn't make it to this year's pageant. Uh, some of them who did make it are facing a lot of challenges. Uh, some of them are carrying a lot of baggage with them, but they're still uh, with a lot of grit and determination going through the entire pageant and the processes and the workshops. What do you want to say to those women who probably didn't make it this year, who would probably make it another year? How do they overcome all these challenges, bring forth themselves in the way that they want to on a platform such as this? Well, first and foremost, they need to realize that a little bit of guilt is good. It's about putting your time and effort into what you have recognized as your priority and your focus. It's not somebody else's choice, it's your choice. And then it's about if they were to look at who they regard to be quite successful, they will end up recognizing that it's somebody who inspires, who leads, and who actually helps the development of other people. And quite frankly, they'll be able to see those kind of skill sets in themselves as well. So the self-doubt is very easily overcome when you can see that you are actually behaving according to a lot of the traits that you see in different people that you regard as successful. And quite frankly, when you identify those traits, you will identify that they're traits that you're behaving towards as well and that you find valuable. So again, it's about being kind to yourself and recognizing that you're your worst critic. If you can embrace yourself, then you can embrace others. And that's the most impactful thing that you can do. You are all beautiful. And you need to recognize that you are beautiful and recognize your beauty. And quite frankly, yes, use the foundations that have been given today, which is the Embrace Foundations that help allow you to have success every day. Hi, yes, I believe that this was really needed because I could feel that there are so many, so many women out there who lack that confidence and who fails to understand what they actually are. So this was an eye-opener, I believe, for them. And I look forward for them to believe more in themselves after this and be more confident. Thank you, lovely ladies. Thank you so much for this opportunity. It's been heartwarming to see that uh, the girls were able to grow out of today. So thank you for allowing me to share my energy.